Hello, good afternoon. Ash from London here again after a, a long break in recordings. Yes, um, a few reasons for that. One reason, but I, I was busy with my day job for a while. Then I was uh, ill for a while. <laughs> Didn't really feel like doing much. Uh, uh, also, most importantly, I've been uh, overseas for a few weeks. I was in Europe and uh, briefly in Australia, um, visiting family and friends and catching up with a few gigs and whatnot. But, uh, now I'm back and uh, ready to do some um, more videos. Of course, while I was over in um, Europe, in the UK mainly, um, I was visiting some of the old uh, record shops and places. And, uh, so I'm going to start this section of um, videos with a little show and tell of a few little items of interest I picked up while I was over there. I've got nine things to show you here. Um, always good fun visiting the old stores. I mean, some of those shops have been there for a long time. But uh, I'll try and give a, I'll try to remember to uh, give a shout out to the places I bought them from. The not all independent stores this time. It's got a mix uh, this time, and um, yeah, it was quite interesting. But anyway, yeah, okay. Not in any particular order, of course. But um, anyway, okay, the fall. Always a band I'm on the lookout for bits, bits and pieces for. I don't have there have such a huge catalogue of. Uh, the releases, it's just difficult to keep up with them financially, <laughs> more than anything. Uh, but I did manage to find uh, three um, of their bits and pieces, so um, here we go. Uh, first one is a CD. I don't buy CDs very often these days, but I have to get this one because it's. Um, I do already ha I have the original standard release. It came out in 1997. It's the album Levitate, a studio album. But I didn't manage to get the. Um, Double CD version. This is the um, limited edition. It has an extra CD in it uh, with five extra tracks. It's five extra tracks. Um, so, yeah. Now, now I uh, I have closure on that. So I have uh, I have this. Um, but I was I was still living back in the UK. So I don't know. Apparently, it was quite widely available when it came out. The um, the limited edition version. For some reason, I didn't get it. I just got the standard single. So but I now have two copies. One with the the extra disc. So that's a. Uh, Another addition to the fall collection of mine. Now, another one is um, an album. I'm more surprised off. I never bought it when, when it was first around. It's their first live album, which also has a couple of studio tracks on as well. came out in 1980. It's uh, Total Turns. That's a beautifully designed sleeve there. It looks very much like a bootleg. That's, what, that's how it looks. Sounds a bit like a bootleg as well. The, the quality recording is not great, but that's what you expect from the fall. It's very, very lo-fi. But yeah, no, I never, um, for some reason, I had it on tape, I think, but I never got around to buying it on vinyl, but I just saw it in um, records. Oh, I've forgotten already. That first uh, <laughs> that first fall, that CD I bought was from Wanted Records in Beckenham in Kent, which I have mentioned before on this channel. But uh, anyway, this was this was in Manchester when I got this. Manchester's an interesting place for fall um, uh, uh, items, fall uh, releases, because, uh, of course, we have a fall bit of Manchester band. They're very much in demand up there. But it's also a good place if you're in the right town, the right place to find um, fall stuff. So I was quite good. I got this from Vinyl Exchange in Manchester and on Oldham Street there, which is a. It's been there for forever that place, and it's always always really good for um, little items of interest like this vinyl downstairs, CDs upstairs. That's usually the the, the route there. But uh, yeah, this was a, just a. To add to the collection, the collection of many. So, um, like I say, it was there. I think it was their third release overall. So it wasn't. It was quite early on in their career, and very, very typical of uh, their live show at the time. Um, apart from the fact that they chose uh, unusual venues, and they didn't go to the, the regular kind of clubs or colleges. They were playing working men's clubs in uh, Doncaster, Bradford, Preston, and Presswich. So quite a not their usual audience, but um, a good piece of uh, fall history anyway. And um, the third of these uh, fall bits and pieces that I bought uh, was their most recent release, a New Facts, New Facts Emerge, which I got on double 10 inch vinyl. Now, um, I bought this when it came out on CD uh, here in New Zealand, uh, but I don't recall ever seeing the vinyl version available here. But um, uh, when I soon saw this, I saw it in Sister Ray Records in London on Berwick Street down there, one of the old legendary stores, and it was um, brand new. So new, I think it's been re-released actually, but uh, still good to have. Um, but, um, obviously, the uh, the new album didn't quite make my fall top ten, but it's still still a good release. It's their, their final album, two thousand seventeen, when it came out, and just a little interesting thing to have on vinyl, uh, ten inch and all that. So I do have the CD as well. So. Another one, another multi, <laughs> multi purchase. Now, um, I 
talking of replacing CDs, um, during the 90s, I, uh, that was my uh, the peak of my CD purchasing. Um, well, the 90s and the noughties, really. Um, but the 90s were quite important because I was the first kind of decade I really got into CDs. Uh, I do have a list of CDs I slowly want to replace on vinyl, which is quite, seems quite ironic nowadays. But uh, and one of them was um, recently featured in my um, top 10 or top 30 uh, electronic dance uh, rundown. And that's at 808 State, um, uh, debut album XL from 1991. So... Very glad to have got it on vinyl. This was actually second hand, but it's in really, really good condition. So, um, this was purchased from. Oh, I will mention the other ones. Uh, this was purchased from. Um, what's it called? Uh, High Street Books, in New Mills in Derbyshire, which uh, I mentioned on, my, on a, a previous video of uh, uh, record store finds. And yeah, so I was really very, very happy to get this. It was very well priced. And uh, another one ticked off the list of uh, 90s CD replacements. Um, classic album. Even on the vinyl, the um, images are so tiny on the vinyl. Imagine what they're like on the CD. But uh, the CD will probably go into my um, shoe box, where I, I just get rid of them occasionally, to sell them online or whatever. So anyway, right. Uh, another band that I obviously need to find stuff by um, without even looking really, and that's Chasing Status. Um, and this was from HMV, which is one of the major chains in the UK. Uh, they're not in London anymore, strange enough. Uh, I think they're going to reopen down there. But I went to the. Um, they're in a lot of the regional towns around London and uh, around the rest of the country. I, I bought this HMV in Manchester. And um, I didn't even realise it was available on vinyl. It's their Return to Fabric collection. Remixes and alternate mixes from their Return to um, Jungle album. Um, it's quite different to the uh, the version you stream online. It's a lot shorter to start with, and the tracks are in different order. And some, you know, obviously not all of them are there. But uh, I was just just browsing through drum and bass section, and there it was. I thought, well, I've got to buy that. It was brand new, so um, obviously in mint condition. And uh, another uh, great addition to the family, to the Chase and Status vinyl family. So very happy about that. Got some got some good stuff on there. Okay, now another way, um, one of the ways I'm really keen on, on, on promoting now is buying uh, vinyl direct from the artist. And lots of um, bands are doing this now at their shows at the merch store. They've got vinyl albums, or CD albums, and loads of things are, are available. Um, when I was in the UK, I was up in Man Manchester and I went to visit the Irish band Mail, who have uh, just released this year their uh, debut album, which is called Attachment Styles. And I yeah, bought that from the band. Uh, who actually they were also <laughs> they were also working on work on the merch stall as well, but uh, it was great. It was great to see because you know exactly where the money's going or most of it anyway, and it's just really it's real cool to come away from a gig with the album, a uh, new album like that. So I mean, the, the gig was great. Uh, with this being a new release, it's probably going to be uh, could be featured in my end of year top ten. Who knows? Well, I'll probably talk about it later then. So, but yeah, it was great. Band straight straight from the band. But, uh, it was the venue was the Pink Room at Yes in Manchester, which is a venue I've never been to before. So there you go. That's um, there. now um, also apart from doing oh um, doing my shopping in um, the UK, like I say, I mentioned I went to Spain to a festival and it was in Madrid and I'm staying in the centre of Madrid in a hotel and I thought while well, I'm there I'll check out some local record stores. I found a record store called um, uh, Marillion, I think it was called. And I uh, went straight to the uh, the Spanish artist section because I was looking for vinyl by the Spanish band Balaco, and I came across this, which uh, was the, it's their most recent album. They do have a new album coming out later this year, but this is their most recent album called Plastic Drama, which um, was released in 2020, which I didn't never managed to get a hold of. Uh, but this came out last year, and it's a the deluxe edition. So a double release. Uh, it's a, the first it's, um, first album is the original album, and then the, um, the second album is uh, basically um, remixes by various guests. Remix. You've got Wolf Alice, uh, Heinz, um, Dream Wife, um, lo loads of different people. The vaccines all are doing little remixes of the tracks, which is just really really cool. Um, I haven't played the remix side yet. I've just played the uh, the first. It's just so, so nice to have it on uh, on vinyl. Uh, it's the only Valaco album I managed to find over there, but um, I was very very happy about that. Uh, I, I caught up with the band in um, 
in London, uh, and it was the last day of their last day of their European tour or their UK tour, and they they'd sold out of vinyl. They did have some copies of that with them on the tour, but uh, but uh, and that, that was just a gig I saw them in Camden. Oh, here's the here's the Marillions, Marillions bag from the from the store. So that was pretty cool. Bit of <laughs> bit of memorabilia there. But anyway, yeah, so um, then, okay, so I left left Europe, headed back towards New Zealand, called in in Melbourne on the way back. And, of course, Melbourne, like any good city, has some good record stores, so violence stores. And I called in at there, one of my favourites, which was called um, Rocksteady Records, and uh, found this in the, um, it was in the second-hand section, but it's actually pretty new and in mint condition. Uh, another band from my um, electronic dance video that's a uh, simia mobile disco and uh their album murmurations which is their most recent album the, the album that featured in my rundown was their first album and th this was released in 2018 and i'd never seen it anywhere and uh it was uh, really well priced about 20 dollars or something and double album and uh, you know brand new so pretty much it was in like i say it was in the second hand section but i think it's probably someone who just bought it downloaded the code <laughs> and then just uh, sold it so um, that was quite a nice thing to, uh, thing to find it's worth it for the the sleeve i love the, the sleeve on that a nice bit of graphic on the front there but um, yeah that was a nice little find it's quite nice when you come across stuff you're not particularly looking for and uh, that was that really so i got arrived back in auckland and um of course as soon as i get back i have to visit all the record stores uh, it was a public holiday um the other weekend and one of the stores which is a um a chain and Australia is uh, well, it's based based in Australia called JB Hi-Fi, electronic um, appliances and all that kind of stuff. But they also sell vinyl and CDs and DVDs. And uh, every public holiday they have a twenty percent off vinyl. So uh, shot off down there. And uh, another one that I, I was looking for replacing from my nineties CD collection, uh, Frank Black, Teenager of the Year. It was brand new and it was uh, sixteen dollars. I thought, wow, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So it's just nice to get this uh, remix. It's, it's a double album because, of course, like, like a lot of, D of CDs, uh, there's too much music for a regular single album release, and this has twenty two tracks on it. So it's over, uh, it's over two two albums. But yeah, another one, another one ticked off the list for my nineties CD replacement. Uh, it's great. I'm really, really on a roll with the uh, Pixies and Frank Black at the moment. Just listening to them loads after seeing them recently in uh, in, in concert. So. That was a no nice find, no nice find. So, yeah, so there you go. So we got lots of uh, the second-hand stores, the independent stores, the chains, and buying direct from the from the bands, which is uh, all pretty good. So um, that's what I was get, part of what I was getting up to in Europe. So there we go. Right, hopefully I'll get my videos back on track. I've got quite a few lined up, ready to go. So um, if anyone's still out there watching my videos, that is, I probably lost half my audience. Such a gap between videos, but never mind. Uh, it's all good fun. Anyway, I uh, um, hope you found that slightly interesting. Um, I think I mentioned all the stores where I got them from. And I'll be back again soon with another video. So um, once again, thanks for being there. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now.